Poor guy. No, he's not uh, been attacked by these humans. Actually, that was a rescue that was happening out in Turkey uh, for this cub, this female cub that found a bit of honey. It's a very particular kind of honey, and she was high as hell. Uh, before we go into more details of how this happened to her, let's go to uh, uh, some more video of her being rescued by these rescuers, these park rangers, I believe. Uh, she stumbled around in the back of this truck. This is great. I have to oh. Oh. Allah <gülüyor> She was so distraught. It was like, oh, big deep breath, <laughs> sit back, try and take it in. I'm gonna give you guys details really fast, Maz. This, this is the situation of how this happened. So this disoriented brown bear cub believed to have become intoxicated after eating an excessive amount of mad honey was rescued again in Turkey's Duns province on Thursday. Mad honey or deliba in Turkish is produced in small quantities by beekeepers in the Kakjar mountains above the Black Sea. The only place in the world other than the foothills of the Himalayas where indigenous species of rhododendrons produce a potent neurotoxin called grayanotoxin. If bees feed on enough of this nectar, the mud red honey they produce has a sharp scent and bitter taste and for mammal consumers, a potential high. A small mm. spoonful eaten on its own or taken with hot water or boiled milk is enough to induce a mildly hallucinogenic or euphoric state. It's, uh, it's normally taken before breakfast as a traditional treatment for hypertension, impotence, and a number of other conditions. So if you guys deal with the impotence, hypertension, and all these other conditions, be careful because this isn't always the best for you. Too much, however, can reduce blood pressure to potentially dangerous levels and induce nausea, fainting, seizures, arrhythmia, and in rare cases, death. Dozens of people a year are admitted to the hospital in Turkey for mad honey poisoning. This is a disaster, but it's actually- that was. That was the cutest high bear I've ever seen in my life. What a what a cute bear, and what, you know he looks like he's having a great old time. And uh, you know it, they they should have done they should have given him like a bag of Doritos or something else. It, it would have been a great Doritos commercial, right? Like got the munchies, you know, Doritos. She's sitting back perfectly, she's like, oh, right, I'm tired of this, chilling. I love you know what? it. I have my issues with bears, as you guys know. If I run into a a, a mother and her cub. Out in the, 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 the mountains in Southern California, you know what I'm gonna do? Make sure you have some mad honey with you. Toss it their way, they'll be cool. You might have to hang out even later, have a barbecue with them. It'll be a lovely situation. We'll work on that part. That's a great idea.